Barrier trying to help out. Now Scrub getting bumped. And challenge from Chassette. Now you can see Chassette and Scrub. Just taking a little fight midfield. Now what some would argue is rule number one. And now the follow-up Scrub killer getting the second goal for Vitality. What a pop from Fairy Peak flipping it up. And the history of rule number one goes back years ago. Some call it keeping the ball up at zero seconds. Some call it remaining locked in place within opponent's car. But what truly is rule number one? There's been some continued confusion about it through Rocket League's history. But in order to answer that, we've got to go back to 2016. You see, the answer to the question, what truly is rule number one, isn't exactly simple. Even back in 2016, it still wasn't exactly clear. And we've seen some change in the community for what rule number one actually is. Let me explain. The first recorded instance of Rule 1 in Rocket League came from Kronovi on the Rocket League subreddit posted in November of 2016. His post titled Rule Number 1 was a short clip of him scoring a zero second goal just before it hit the ground. And even in the replies, there was still some tension about confirming this was the true Rule 1 of Rocket League. And overwhelmingly, you can tell that almost everyone is in favor of naming this clip as an example of Rule Number 1. So there you have it! As simple as that. Rule Number 1 is keeping the ball up at zero seconds, right? <laughs> Wrong! As simple as we'd like it to be, we can't just call it there. This may have been true back in 2016, but times have changed. Fast. Less than one year later, in September of 2016, another post was made titled The Unwritten Rule. This is the earliest post on Reddit we can find in favor of locking cars being rule number one. And I mean, this is a good example of it, but the user doesn't even title it rule number one, so it doesn't even make a difference. There have been many other examples of locking cars in the past, even before Kronovi's post, but none claim to name themselves rule number one. In December of 2017, another post was made with the same idea about locking cars. In this post, they also called it the unwritten rule, so right now it seems like rule number one is keeping the ball up at zero seconds, and the unwritten rule is remaining locked with an opponent's car. Again, we see here a meme posted called the unwritten rule with 9,000 upvotes in December of 2017. Seems like another post in favor of this theory. However, this is where the confusion began. It is written. It's rule number one. I thought rule number one was don't let the ball touch the ground in overtime. I hate to call that rule number one, because when it comes to tournament play, they have to discard rule number one. Stop! This is the first public online example of this confusion. And just one month later, we have our first post claiming the car locking situation to be the true rule number one. This is where the tables start to turn. In the same month, Musty, perhaps the biggest guy on the Rocket League subreddit at the time, made a post about rule number one happening in the finals of a $300 tournament. He locked cars with an opponent and remained there until the goal was scored. This is what delivered the final blow to switching rule number one from keeping the ball up at zero seconds to locking cars with an opponent. But I thought rule one was to keep the ball up as long as possible when the time hits zero, no matter the score. That's also rule one. First time really thinking about this, there are three rule ones, so don't you think it's time we give each of the unwritten rules a different number? What? They're both rule one? And there's actually three of them? I'm getting confused again. There's only one way to solve this. Wait, I'm just a low-clout YouTuber with 100 subscribers and I don't have a big enough audience to get a decent sample size. I can't ask Twitter yet. Guess I'll have to ask a bunch of people in-game. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Alright, I have the statistics. In my hands, I hold the true answer to the question, what is rule number one? And the answer is... So, locking cars is the new rule number one. I asked 50 people what they thought it was, and it was a pretty clear answer. Finally, we can sleep comfortably knowing that the official definition for rule one is locking cars. I also asked just for fun how many of them actually follow the rule when it happens, and this is what they thought. That's an astounding amount for always. 
I just love how a lot of Rocket League players can get super toxic at this game, but in the end, 80% of them will follow this rule every time despite being super pissed off. Eh, well maybe not 80%. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not.